everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to do an Azure standard haul and then just kind of talk about my current grocery buying system. Let's first jump into what I bought most recently from Azure Standard. They're one of my favorite places for buying organic, like pantry staple type things, different refrigerated items, just really nice, well-sourced grocery items. I really like them as a company. And then I thought that this particular time of buying from them was a really good time to share it because it's, it represents very well what I typically will buy from them. So let's just go through and talk about some of the things that I usually get. So let's start first with their organic raw apple cider vinegar. They sell this in a variety of different sizes. You can get it in a small glass quart jar. You can get it in a big gallon jug. You can get it in a five gallon bucket. We get it in the five gallon bucket when we have our batches of meat chickens that we like to raise. But I love having this on hand for a lot of different things. Another thing that I like to get is their vanilla extract. It's a really great deal for nice high quality organic vanilla extract. And then spices are something that I get from them a lot because I have little individual spice jars and then I will have, you know, those individual jars and then I will get bulk spices for refilling. So it saves a lot of money that way. So this time I bought rosemary and then I also got ground black pepper. So I'll just get whatever spices or seasonings I happen to need, whatever I'm running low on and kind of stock up on those. Other things that I like to get that I didn't get this time are either whole grains to grind in my flour mill or sometimes if I'm really busy, I'll just get smaller amounts of already ground flour. They have a, a nice high quality unifying grain grinding process that is very low temperature, low speed, that is supposed to be very gentle and preserves the nutrients. So I, I feel comfortable with that. I just get smaller amounts so that a bunch of ground flour is not sitting around for too long. And then other things that I like to get from there that I order every time are cheese and butter. They have this raw grass-fed cheddar cheese that I really like. So I will get usually two boxes of this per month. So that would be four of these blocks total. And so four of these will usually last us a month pretty well. We really like this cheese a lot and I love that it's raw and it's from grass-fed cows. Yeah. The other thing that I like to get from them every single time is butter. So they have a few different grass-fed kinds. My favorite is this European style cultured butter. So it's grass-fed, organic. I get the unsalted kind just because it's better to know exactly what kind of salt you're using and I'm not sure. So unsalted is usually the better way to go when it comes to butter from my research. So really like this butter. It's very delicious. I love that it's cultured because um, for anybody on GAPS, culturing dairy is really important and it's not a deal breaker with butter, but if you can, I learned that it's better to have cultured butter on GAPS. So this is really good for that or anybody not on GAPS too. It's really tasty, high quality, grass fed, cultured butter. So that's what I like to get from Azure. So that covers my you know, cheese, butter for the month, my spices, flowers if I need them, the liquid things like the vinegar, the vanilla extract, any of those pantry staple kind of things. And then let's talk about kind of where we source the rest of our things that we get every month for groceries. So we have a raw milk share here in Colorado. So we get raw milk every week from there. Sometimes I will get extra cream from the store if I have different things that I wanna make with cream. I'll get this Kelowna Supernatural Organic Whipping Cream and I really like that one. It's not as ideal as raw, but if you can't get raw, like I can't always get the amount that we would like at certain times, then it's a really great option. Then you can culture it and add life back to it. And then eggs, most of our eggs we get from our chickens. They're in their second year of production right now, so they're starting to drop off just a little bit. So just recently, probably within the last three weeks or so, we have had to start buying some eggs to supplement them, but for the most part, we get eggs from our chickens in the backyard. And then for meat, we get that from local farms, so we get a whole beef every so often. We also get a whole pig once a year and then a whole lamb uh, once or twice a year, depending. And then we raise our meat chickens, so that covers all of our meat. And then for produce, we will try to grow what we can in our garden. 
and I like to ferment that for year round. Uh, keep onions hanging up in braided strings from our garden in the basement for year round. And then to supplement, since we can't grow all the produce all the time that we would like, maybe someday we'll get better at that. But for supplementing that, I have a subscription to a place called Misfits Market, which I've really been liking. It's like a discount organic grocery service. They have other things, but I pretty much just get the produce from them. So they have really great prices. I find that we save money versus going to the grocery store for produce. I've been really happy with the quality and they have really good customer service. They're not a sponsor or anything, maybe someday, but <laughs> I've been really happy with them. So I just wanted to share that too. And I'll have links to all these different things down in the description box below. But I think that pretty much covers it. All of our bases for our grocery, there will be you know, here and there some different things that we'll run to the store for depending on what we're doing that maybe we didn't order in time from Azure, but we try to keep it to just kind of what I've shared here and that we find that that's the best for quality and then sticking to our grocery budget too. So like I said, I'll have links to all these different things that I mentioned down in the description box below. So be sure and go ahead and check those out. Also check out that description box for links to free eBooks and other goodies. I have also links to things like my GAPS 30 day meal plan, uh, different ways that I can help you with following GAPS, stuff like that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anybody else that you think would enjoy it or find it helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.